Ta-da! It's nice! It's cute. Yeah? Nice kid. Yeah. Oh, it's good. <laughs> Day is a cool and special and very poignant day and it's for this reason. Today I am working at the University of Ulster in Belfast City Centre and it is today almost exactly 10 years ago that I first entered university, the Queen's University of Belfast to study law and French. I did it reluctantly but I did it with determination I saw it through. My real passion, of course, was art. So it's interesting that this former law student and law graduate with a hidden, dirty, secret passion for art is now at our college, exactly a decade later, drawing the new batch of incoming art students. Law graduate is here at Queen's Ulster to draw all the aspiring artists. There's a quote that says, Success is the greatest revenge. This isn't about revenge, but this is about. This is a triumph for me, this is a summit moment for me because I wanted to do art, wasn't allowed. Not only am I at our college, but they have me here drawing the students. That's something special. I have drawn at many different events in many parts of the world, but I've never drawn 9 o'clock in the morning. But the first is right now. I'm drawing Adam and Donald, who are my neighbors at the Freshers' Fair. They're with the gaming table. I'm going to draw and paint them now. Okay, I've drawn Donal and Adam, isn't it? Yeah. Here's Donal and Adam. There's a cartoon of Donal and Adam. <laughs> so everybody here will know Megan. Megan is a gallery assistant. Megan is a good friend, Erin. Also our student. I've drawn her, and now I'm going to color her. <laughs> <laughs> I've done a portrait of these guys, not a caricature. Really challenging, but it's come off really well. I think I've actually pulled it off. Each one, number one, two, three, and four. So it's just Tristan, and I think that's kind of spot on. Not spot on, but good. Chloe, not too bad. Julia, I thought I've worked really well, even though you know it's not spot on. It still looks really good. And then Anya, I've stuck about 20 years on her, but it's still... But what matters is, do you guys like it? Cool. Now just short of four o'clock. That's six hours of drawing on the trot today. Been mental. John's the last one, so just finishing touches. Then I'll give it to him, and then that's it over. Okay. John, this cartoon. Let me see, John. All right. You hold it up there. There you go. Thank you. Kurt Vonnegut, the famous German-American writer, he said, if you want to piss off your parents, but you don't have the balls to be gay, you can go to art school. Francesca Martinez, a uh, lady writer, she said, accepting yourself as you are is an act of civil disobedience.
Today was like a sweet, ironic day. The harmony of it was bewildering at times and quite poignant. Ten years ago exactly, I enrolled at the Queen's University of Belfast to study law. Ten years on, here I am, the art college in Belfast, making art for art students. Uh, it is quite something. I'm very proud of today. That's another momentous occasion in my ascent. After the day I drawn, we went to the bank in preparation for America. And then we went to the game shop, Henry's first ever trip to the game shop. Yeah! Yeah, and then went to B&M Bargains. And on the way home I was thinking, reflecting on today and how poignant it is and the sweet, sweet irony of it. Ten years on, certainly ten years ago I did not expect to have Henry. But ten years ago from being a sort of reluctant, aspiring lawyer to now being a gung-ho committed artist is the Scottish law. It is startling the contrast and the change. Don't hit me, ah! Anyway, my summary and the moral of the story is like this. Your dreams do not remain permanently on hold. Neve J. Highland actually said that. She's the lady who spoke at the recent TED talk. She is from Ireland and she grew up in a very musical home. Enjoyed singing, growing up, but did law. And actually got the New York bar. But in the end, she actually turned to singing and now it works in New York with a company called Artists Without Walls. And uh, she really, li really liked the bit of art I did for her. Hopefully I'll share when I'm in New York. And that's the moral of the story. Your dreams do not permanently remain on hold. And if you have a dream in your teens or in your early 20s and you're stuck in school, or you're stuck in uni or you're stuck in a job, an office job, and you want to be an artist or a singer, or whatever it is, a musician. You can, as Yates said, I set my cloth, my cloth is, or my dreams under your feet, tread gently. Tread gently and conscientiously. Sort of nurture that dream, never put it away in a drawer, but have it somewhere safe and think about it and keep it turning over like a little egg. And if your mind is on that goal, and your muscles and your routine is on that goal, it will come true. And that Bye. is a lesson Duh. I've learned. Uh, people want immediate results. People want stuff off the shelf. But that's not how life works. Life is slow. But life is also quick. We talk about how quickly time passes. And if we can change that to saying, we, we, we will talk about how quickly time passes and at the same time give off about not being able to learn a language or skills quick enough. Yeah. Because that's, that's because it's hard, but the time will go just as quick if you stick at it. So, that's the story. Stick at it. Yeah.